What's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, back for episode 11 of the Million Dollar Mission series. And, um, yeah, in the last episode, we built Fire Dragon here, and that is up and running well. Um, it's raining, which is unfortunate, but as soon as that's done, I think plenty of people will start getting on this ride. Checking out the finances here, um, doing better than ever right now. And I just want to get a few things done today. First off, I just want to build a little path. Again, getting us, inching us a little bit closer to the lake so that we can start building some water rides and get some of those going. And then, so I'm going to put a circus here. Um, nothing too exciting, so I'll just let that run. And then I also want to probably put in a monorail today. And... Um, because I keep forgetting to do that, so we'll do that as well. Put in the circus, litter bins, all that stuff. So now there's a nice path over there, pretty decently close to the lake. So we'll start putting some water rides in there as well. Um, I noticed in the last episode or the episode before, something like that, I didn't change the, um, the entrance to... Um, the inverted roller coaster, so I went ahead and just did that real quick there. Made a space entrance, thought it looked good. Um, looking at the lake here, I'm right here, I'm trying to decide what I want to build. Thinking about water rides. And I might build some river rafts, but that'll take up quite a bit of the lake. I might do a log flume around the lake. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll probably do that in the next episode because, again, like I was saying, I would like to put in a monorail here, one that extends from um, about where the lake is, um, right next to the circus and the fire dragon, and put it over by the wooden roller coaster or by the um, splash boats over there. And I think that'll help guests cover a pretty large amount of ground. Now, when I do monorails, I like to put them into shuttle mode and just build the path not very long. That way, it's just going back and forth. And then um, I'll do multiple monorails in a park as opposed to just one that has like four or five entrances. You know, so I make the station platform eight long and that'll make an extra long train. I think that's as long as it can possibly go. Um, and that's the I mean, as far as the trains for the monorail are concerned, I think eight is the maximum. If you build more station platform than that, it's not going to really extend the length of the train. So that's what I do because, again, it's a shuttle. So I just want to fit as many people as I can because there's only going to be one train available. So, I just kind of fit this over here. And I I really wish I would have put the monorail in a little bit sooner. And, um, I mean, you'll see why in a minute here. And I, I kind of have a hard time putting in the station platform. Well, not the station platform, but, like, the pathways... And you'll see it ends up kind of looking a little bit weird, which is unfortunate, but I don't really, it's not really that noticeable. But you'll see what I'm talking about. Now I'll just speed through all of this. Um, and I'll also, I mean, I'll watch the test run, but I'm going to do that in double time because watching monorails is not very exciting. So we'll throw the entrance and exit on over here. Again, I, sh I turn, um, that's gonna be in your settings and just change it to shuttle mode instead of continuous circuit. See that the monorail always has a hard time going up hills, so I try to do as little of those as possible, but I needed those hills because I'm going to have pathways going through around there. 
and it made it just fine. So I'll, I'll start building the pathways in here now. And this side obviously is just fine. No big deal putting that in there. But this side I had some trouble seeing exactly what I was doing with everything that's going on over on this side of the park. And what happens is um, I end up building the path so that like the supports of the rides and the supports of the um, the pathway up to the splash boats end up just not touching the ground. So it just looks a little bit weird, but it works fine. I mean, it doesn't look, I mean, you can tell right there, sort of, I know I'm just speeding through all this real fast, but you could sort of tell right there. Kind of change the colors around a little bit. Couldn't really find something that I liked a lot, but I think this kind of looks cool right here. I do end up deciding to just name it Monorail 1 because I plan to have more than one monorail in the park, so I'll probably just name them like that, Monorail 1, Monorail 2, etc, etc. Um, I think that this series honestly is going to wrap up fairly soon, as I do just some miscellaneous things here, put a cash machine, things like that. Um, you can see we're already up to $87,000. And that is only going to keep going up faster and faster. We're in year four right now. I I honestly wouldn't put it past, like, maybe even year ten we'll reach our goal. Um, somewhere around there. So, or maybe even sooner than that. I don't know. It's, it's going up. Our finances are going up extremely quickly right now. You can see, again, looking at the past three months, they've all had... Um, over $16,000 in ride revenue and over $13,000 in profits total. So that's pretty amazing, especially considering um, everything we've been building. So money is definitely not an issue as far as building rides right now. And uh, we'll build, we'll, we'll get some pretty crazy roller coasters going. Um, pretty soon here. I'd, I'd like to show you guys some of the things I really like to build. Maybe um, a hyper twister roller coaster and a giga coaster preti soon. So next uh, next episode I'm thinking some water rides and then after that maybe some crazy ro more crazy roller coasters. But, um, thanks again for watching everybody. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share all that stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again. See ya.